Hello, this is Chill Computer Guy. We're here in Propellerhead Reason. Uh, we have a quick tip. It has to do with the SSL mixer. A lot of people, you see this section here, right here on the SSL mixer, and you see this section, control room out, master, effects send, effects return, and then we got the eight uh, little lights here. And a lot of people, they don't know what this is all about. What is this? And uh, this tutorial has to do with what this is all about. Um, now, first off, we need to, by default, your master section is routed to your sound card through the master out. That's the default. What you need to do is you need to switch this to control room out. And what that'll do is that'll open up this section of the mixer. So let's flip that back around. And you'll see we put a couple of uh, send and returns. And we put a uh, reverb in here and an echo. So we basically have a reverb and a delay. And so that's what we have uh, going into send number one and send number two. Send number one is the reverb, send number two is the delay. Now you'll notice there's eight sends and returns. Those eight sends and returns are linked to these eight lights right here, okay? So this is these are basically your, re, your send and return channels. And you have eight send and return channels. Up here on the mixer, you'll see you have eight send and return channels. Because you've routed that, you'll actually have access to this part of the mixer. Let's go ahead and we'll play a quick, very simple uh, drum beat here. We have a uh, four, four, four on the floor kick drum. We have a half note, uh, or four on the floor snare drum. We have a half note kick drum, and then we have an eighth note hi-hat pattern here. Let's go ahead and jam this. We'll listen to this drum part, and I'll show you how to use this section of the mixer. Now first off, this signal is the master, what we're listening to. Now if we hit, now if we hit effects sends, you'll see you can't hear anything. Why you can't hear anything is because nothing is going to that particular send. In other words, none of these are on. Now if I turn this on, you'll hear that's a dry signal that's going into send effect one you're hearing the effects send. Now if you click down here, now you're hearing the return. Just the return. That's all you're hearing. Now if you click on here, now you're hearing the return of the snare. That's the signal before it goes into the send effect. This is the signal as it's leaving the send effect. And then of course your master signal. Now you'll also see, let's say I'm gonna turn on, a, I'm gonna put a little delay on the snare drum. got to be on number two now because you're listening to the return of send channel two. So this is the, the send and return from channel two, which is the delay. By combining all these tools, you can really get in here and do quite a bit of adjusting. These are basically your send and return channels, and you can hear the signal as it goes into the effect and also as it leaves the effect. And so that's what this is all about. In order for this to work, you have to make sure that your master section is routed from the control room out as opposed to the master. And so that's the quick tip. Please subscribe. I'll have more quick tips as time goes on. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next week.